David Lipson is with me here uh, in the Sky News Centre. Um, Laura, they're um, obviously following the situation in Tasmania. It's a critical state with regards to those seats there, the coalition hoping to pick up seats mm. there, uh, and of course um, the Labor, Labor state government uh, widely um, in uh, uh, not particularly popular as well at the moment. David, um, of course, uh, Laura and the opposition leader in Tasmania, we've got a lot of focus today, though it's really turned on Queensland in this mm. surprise announcement announcement by Peter Beattie, which really did, as you say earlier, come out of the blue. Yeah, this will be the big political story of the day, the return of Peter Beattie, a man who was Premier of Queensland for nine years. He won three state elections and retired without ever having been defeated. So he is a formidable politician. We know that. And he has been parachuted into the seat of Ford, pushing aside the, the pre-selected ALP candidate, Des Hardman and he will be up against Bert Van Manen, who holds the seat currently for the LNP with a margin of 1.6%. This is being widely welcomed by senior figures in the Labor Party. They believe that this will boost the ALP vote in Queensland. This was the Trade Minister Richard Miles speaking on Sky this morning. That's very exciting news. Uh, Peter Beattie is one of the most formidable politicians that Labor has in this country. He was a great Premier of Queensland. He would make an enormous contribution to a federal Labor government. And he's obviously a very popular figure in Queensland. And you've got to think that uh, in a seat like Ford, he's going to make a real difference. So uh, th this is a great addition to the Labor team. And I think every, uh, every Queensland Labor person, but indeed every Labor person around the country, will be greatly heartened by this news. As for the opposition leader, Tony Abbott, well, he almost seemed heartened by this news as well when he was asked about it at his news conference a little earlier this morning in Tasmania. Uh, another flim-flam man who hit people with record debt and deficit who's just going to add to the leadership instability in, inside the Labor Party. Uh, you might say to me, am I worried about Peter Beattie? Of course not, but I bet Kevin Rudd is. We've already got one narcissistic egomaniac from Queensland in the federal parliament, in Kevin Rudd. Uh, we, we hardly need two. The truth is that uh, Peter Beattie and Kevin Rudd despise each other. It's like the mongoose and the cobra. The only reason Peter Beattie wants to come to Canberra, Kieran, is because he wants to be leader of the Labor Party.